As you guys all know, I love finding new AI tools, especially for video editing. And today I want to look at this new HitPaw Edit Maker AI video editing software. And I want to see, is it better than CapCut or can it compete with CapCut? So let's check it out. Right now I'm just editing a video that I've been working on, but I want to start you off from the beginning. So first things first, you're just going to need to go ahead and download the software. So I'll leave a link in the description that'll take you right to the homepage where you can download it. All you're going to do is click right here, try it free and go ahead and download it and it'll automatically start downloading. So let's go ahead and see all the AI features that this software offers and let's see how it competes with CapCut. So if you've ever used CapCut before, what you will notice is that HitPaw is set up exactly like CapCut, which is awesome because you're going to feel like it's very familiar. All right. So what we can do here is go ahead and click on create a video, or you could just look at a couple different options that they have text to speech, subtitle maker. They actually have screen recorder. That's pretty cool that they have that built in screen recorder. They also have an AI video generator and some AI copywriting tools. You can click on toolbox right here and you'll see all the different tools that they have they got an ai video generator which is really cool a photo enhancer and just a whole bunch of different ai tools so let's go ahead and go back to create a video and if we just go into the project that i'm working on i just want to give you guys a quick overview on the different things that you can do but first let me just show you one of the best parts about this software that actually beats CapCut, and that would be their integration with pixabay unsplash and gif yeah so it's not just just one integration they have three different integrations on here and it's right under the media tabs and when you click on pixabay all you have to do is just type in right here whatever you're looking for so if i'm looking for something for ancient egypt i'll just type that in and it'll come up with all the videos that have that are on pixabay for ancient egypt and you can literally just click on one and drag it into the timeline just like that and this is an amazing tool the fact that they are integrated with pixabay with unsplash and with giphy can save you so much time as a video editor i don't know if you guys have come across that problem i certainly have when i need some stock footage the fact that i got to go online to these websites and download these clips separately each one it takes so much time it's very time consuming so the fact that they have that integrated within their software this saves you so much time this actually in my opinion makes this software beat CapCut in this aspect right here they also have a ton of back backgrounds if you're looking for specific backgrounds for your video they got some graph paper or the grids that are really trendy so you could just whatever you find you could just grab that bring it onto the timeline and you can also edit it as well also you can add some text like i said it's set up almost exactly like CapCut, which is really good because i love how CapCut is set up it's very easy to understand it's very intuitive all right so they have basically the same same setup which is really cool they got animations for the text just like they do on CapCut. they also have text to speech as well so i just typed in something random real quick but i just want to show you their text-to-speech feature so just type in some text click up here on the text-to-speech tool and you can sample these different voices and hear how they sound paw edamaker is a popular video editing software with powerful ai features paw edamaker is a popular video editing software with powerful ai features all right so the voices are really good they sound really natural so i'll just go ahead and click this one i choose this one last time and it sounded pretty good so i'll go ahead with that one all you do is click start converting and it will it'll do the text-to-speech all right so we could play that back in egypt is an amazing culture with tons of different innovations so they also have some like pre-made animations for the text which is right here so if you add something like that in just click on here and you can change the text within that and then of course you can make that be read out loud with the text-to-speech feature as well so you just click convert and it'll convert that to text-to-speech when you look up top here as i said before everything is set up very similar to CapCut. so if you've used that before it'll just be a seamless transition you here you have your effects tab so of course if you want to add in a different effect or whatever you can just drag it onto the timeline you also have your stickers which is basically like animations that have already been created for you so let me close out of here and show you guys the ai video generator from the home screen if you click on ai video generator you will see that they have something simple for you to create videos where you could 
just enter text, add the footage automatically, and generate your video, which is really cool. And they do have a similar feature like this on CapCut. Now, let's see how well it works. I'm just going to go ahead and enter something in. Or, of course, you can click on this AI copywriting tool, which is going to bring you up to this screen here, where it's basically like a chat GPT integration right here that'll write your script for you. So you can choose which topic you're trying to write about. So I'm just going to leave it on movies and TV. And you could change the language that you want it to be written in. And you can also choose the length of the scripts. I'll put it at over 400. And let's just give it a topic to write about. I'm going to give it the topic of the top three lesser known ancient Egyptian inventions. And let's see it write a video script on that. We'll see how long it takes as well. So it's really fast. And what it seems like is basically a chat GPT integration within their video editing software, which is good because then once again, you don't have to leave the platform, go online and go to those separate websites. It's basically all within this video editing software, which is really a good thing. So here we go. We have the whole script now written out for us. And now that we have our script written out for us, we can just go ahead and click on copy right here. And then you can close out of that screen. And here it says enter or paste your text. But here's a problem that I encounter when I go to try and paste that script in here and I try and right click, it actually doesn't allow me to paste the script which is unfortunate. So I guess you would have to write out the script yourself. So just for the sake of this and giving you guys an idea, I'll just type in a short script real quick. So let's go ahead and click on next and it'll bring up this part here where it breaks your script down into different scenes. And you can either manually import some media that you already have by clicking on this button here, or you can just go ahead and click on auto pick and it will automatically match the footage to this slide right here or you can just click right here auto pick for all and it'll automatically pick some media for every slide as you could see the first slide that it has brought in is somebody watering a plant and this next slide where it's talking about a city that's thousands of years old and it has brought up this piece of media so the ai doesn't seem to have analyzed anything that's being spoken about within these slides but before we go into the advanced editor look over here on the right side you could change the aspect ratio and you can add in a voiceover so there's a ton of different voices which is a good thing you got a lot of different options and then you can also choose between what type of emotion that you want for their voice and then you can also choose the subtitles and also music so it's automatically selected some music i'm going to click on advanced edit and when i do that it's going to bring everything that it has created into the timeline and now from here we can change up everything in my opinion one of the best features about this video editing software is the fact that it is integrated with Pixabay, Unsplash, and Giphy. I'm pretty sure CapCut is not integrated with any of these websites. This is a huge plus for HitPaw Edit So I just type in Ancient Egypt, and if I wanna replace this clip, you can just drag it right on top and just click replace, and it'll automatically replace that clip with your new one. And then when you wanna go and export your video when you're finished creating it, you're just gonna go click on export and you have a ton of different exporting options. Maybe you have a MacBook and you need like the .mov file, but I stick with the MP4 file. And then you can also change the resolution all the way up to 4K. And right here is where you change the frame rates. You can go all the way up to 60 frames per second. Or if you just want to export the audio from that video, just click on export audio and you can export as an MP3 or an M4A or a WAV file or all these different files. So it gives you a ton of different options to choose from. And then you're just going to go ahead and click on export and it's automatically going to start exporting the video. And let's take a look at the pricing. So when you look month to month, it would be $20 per month. But one of the great parts about this is that you can either purchase a whole year for $50, or if you see this, you can get this for lifetime for $70, which is compared to CapCut is a really good deal because CapCut, you don't have the option to purchase a lifetime deal. So yeah, if you want, I'll have the link to download it in the description below. I'm gonna let you guys be the judge. What do you think, CapCut or HitPaw? Go ahead and give them a try and I will see you guys in the next video.